Question 1. What is CGAL? Answer. CGAL is an acronym for the Computational Geometry Algorithms Library. It is at the same time the short name for the CGAL Open Source Project. The goal of the project is to provide easy access to efficient and reliable geometric algorithms to users in industry and academia. Question 2. Is Visual C++ 6 supported? Answer. No, it is not and there is no hope that you can make the necessary fixes yourself to get it running with this compiler. The issue lies in the fact that VC6 did not support the template mechanism well enough. The solution is to either use an old version of CGAL or to upgrade to newer versions of the Microsoft compiler. Question 3. Which versions of Qt are supported? Answer. All the demos use Qt 5. The 2D demos are based on the graphics view framework, the 3D demos on the Libacle viewer. Question 4. How to reduce compilation time of programs using CGAL? Answer. CGAL is heavily using C++ templates, and this has an impact on compilation speed. Here are some hints that can help speed up compilation of programs using CGAL. Remove compiler debugging options like G if you can. Indeed, generating debug information can be very costly for template instantiations, both in terms of running time and memory usage by the compiler tool chain. Remove compiler optimization options like O2 when you do not need them, such as in the early steps of the development cycle of your programs. Regroup translation units. If your program is composed of many small translation units to be compiled and linked, try to reduce their numbers by merging them. This traditional style for C programs is actually very slow for programs heavily using C++ templates. Regrouping them reduces the time spent by the compiler to pass the header files, and avoids redundant template instantiations. Precompiled header files Some compilers, such as GCC, provide a feature named precompiled headers. This can be mostly useful if you can regroup in a single header file most of the header files that you use, together with most template instantiations. Question 5. What is the difference between a predicate and a construction and why does this make a difference for the robustness of my program? Answer. Geometric predicates are used to test properties of geometric objects and return, for example, a boolean value, true or false. An example of predicate would be testing whether a point lies inside a sphere is a predicate as is testing whether three points form a left turn, right turn or are collinear. A geometric construction creates a new geometric object, such as the line through two different points or the center of a circle defined by a certain set of points. Constructions are problematic with respect to robustness since the constructed object has to be stored in a particular representation. If this representation does not capture the object's properties sufficiently, due, for example, to limited precision round-offs, the correctness of subsequent computations with this object cannot be guaranteed. However, providing exact constructions is currently less efficient, which is basically the reason why the kernel CGAL exact underscore predicates underscore inexact underscore constructions underscore kernel exists, double is used as the representation type in this case. Question 6. My program reports Microsoft C++ exception, CGAL, uncertain underscore conversion underscore exception at memory location, why? Answer. This is an internal exception, which is caught by CGAL code. Users are not supposed to be concerned by this, it is correct behavior, except that it sometimes shows up, for example when debugging, it is safe to ignore these exceptions. Question 7. How can I do Boolean operations on polygons? Answer. There are two means provided in CGAL for performing Boolean operations on polygons in the plane. One is provided via the class template nef underscore polyhedron 2. The other is provided via the Boolean set operations package. There are demo programs illustrating Boolean operations using both of these. The manual pages provide more information regarding, for example, additional functionality available with these class templates. 
Question 8. How do I compute the triangulation of the interior of a polygon? Answer. For this, one should use one of the constrained triangulation classes, constrained triangulation 2, constrained delune triangulation 2 or constrained triangulation plus 2. The edges of the polygon should be input as constraints to the triangulation. The constructed triangulation will be a triangulation of the whole convex hull, but including as edges the edges of the polygon which are marked as constrained edges. From there it is easy to output the faces inside rest, outside the polygon or to mark these faces as such. Question 9. Is the outer CCB counterclockwise boundary of a face of an arrangement a simple polygon? Answer. The outer CCB of a face of an arrangement is not necessarily a simple polygon. Consider the case where there are inner antennas. Imagine a face represented by a simple polygon and a vertex V on the outer CCB of the face. Now connect a component that starts and ends at V and lies in the interior of the face, one edge incident at V suffices. Mind that if you are using an inexact number type you might get a non-simple polygon even if the outer CCB represents one due to numerical errors. Question 10. Boolean set operations. How can I compute them? Answer. The package regularized Boolean set operation consists of the implementation of Boolean set operations on point sets bounded by weakly X monotone curves in two-dimensional Euclidean space. In particular, it contains the implementation of regularized Boolean set operations, intersection predicates, and point containment predicates. Ordinary Boolean set operations that operate on linear polygons, which distinguish between the interior and the boundary of a polygon, are supported by the planar Neff polyhedra package. For intersections of the interiors of polygons also refer to the Polygon Intersection Demo Program, which is also available in the demo directory of the CGAL distribution. Question 11. How can I attach information to a vertex, a half-edge, or a face? Answer. You need to change the DCEL, so that its vertex, half-edge, and or face types will contain the information you want. The package facilitates the coding necessary to achieve this task. Refer to section extending the DCEL for further details. You have to supply your model of the concept arrangement DCEL, which represents the extended DCEL and instantiate CGAL arrangement on surface 2 properly. Question 12. Why is there no transform function for polyhedron 3? Answer. The polyhedral surface and other data structures in the basic library can have added geometric attributes by the user that would make a generally working transform function for affine transformations difficult to provide in the class, and on the other hand it is easy for a user to apply standard generic algorithms for that purpose.